Today is Thursday, the day after uh, Ash Wednesday. Um, today is the uh, 18th, I believe. And uh, Tuesday, I will, my family was getting ready for, for Lent. You know, we just we just do it. We, we, we believe in Jesus and, and Mary, and we believe in Lent, and we, we, we always do it for many years. And um, we try to keep Lent. So we all worry about how, what we're going to give up and stuff like that. We talked about Lent. Uh, now, Tuesday, the day before Lent, I was... I was, I was um, uh, I went to the store with my shopping cart, and I like well the store's not too far from the house, and I bought some food for my uh, second storage room. I, I have a, another storage room that I was preparing for storage, emergency food storage, and uh, what happened was that as I was putting my food away, in my mind's eye, you know, my forehead, in my, your mind's eye, was written the word beatitude. You see here. Beatitude, right there, B-E-A-T-I-T-U-D-E-S. So I thought that was God telling me, giving me a message. So today, which is two days afterwards, I had, now that I have time, I'm going to read the Beatitude. This is Matthew 5, verses uh, 1, all the way up to, I say, uh, uh, 11. 1 to 11, verse 1 to 11, on Matthew chapter 5. And uh, I want to read it because if, if God gave me this message, maybe I should also relay the message to you. Um, as I was putting my, my, my food storage away, and, I, and my, and, and my um, second storage room was really, really filled, filled with, with overabundance. I, I, I didn't think I had enough room to put the uh, food in there. God did such a good job. But then God gave me this message here in, in my third eye, or my mind's eye, and my forehead, I saw the Lord Beatitude. So I want to read it for you, okay? Matthew chapter 5, verse 1, verses 1 to uh, 11, okay? And I think God gave me this message for a reason. Here it is. The Sermon on the Mount. I'm reading from the um, New American Bible. The St. Joseph edition, all right? Okay. When he saw the crowds, he went up the mountain. And after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for there is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they, they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. Thus they persecuted the prophets who were before you. That was Matthew chapter 5, verses 1. To eleven, the beatitude. So God is, is speaking to me and telling me things, um, and so now I know. This, now I know about, about three or four things here 
that guy's trying to tell me, even though there's more than, more verses here, uh, I think three or four of them is uh, mainly he's trying to, to tell me. You know, when you know what guy's trying to tell you, I, I can see three things here that he's telling me. Um, for one, I have, I, 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 I name one of them. Um, I think it's going to be satisfied. Bless all they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. That's one. And that's not, uh, there's two more, three more here that he's telling me, but I want to keep it to myself. But there you go, okay? The Beatitudes, all right? So we have to live, we have to live by the Beatitudes. Now I know what God is trying to tell me, I believe. Uh, now I know. It's a little late um, uh, I, I, because I, I failed to grasp onto it uh, on the right time. But now I can, once again, um, learn from it. So God gave me this message when I was, uh, the Beatitude, this is the word that came to my mind while I was putting my, my, my food that I got from the market on the shelf. So now I'm reading two days afterwards. You see? Now I know. All right. So I'm letting you people know this because if God is teaching me this, it's, it's good that then it's good that I, I relay this message to you too. What do you learn from this? It's up to you. I'm not really teaching you. I'm testifying what uh, what God showed me in my, in my head, in my storage room. All right? So there you go. So I'm letting you go now. It's up to you if you want to keep it or not. Um, this is the, uh, the New American Bible. Um, the Saint Joseph edition, okay? I want, I want to read it from the King James Version um, in my next video, all right? So have a good day, and God bless you, and remember the Beatitude. Whenever you want to complain about things or you feel that you're not blessed and you feel that you're down, or you feel that, that, that your sins are too great or whatever, or people making fun of you because you're a Christian or whatever, okay? Uh, this beatitude is a good lesson here, okay? All right. So you have a good day, and enjoy, and enjoy your Lent. Bye-bye.